Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hi, I'm Candace. Hey, Candace. Good morning. Good morning. Candace is uh, hard at work on her box knives. Our box knives. What did I say? Her. No, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I gave that to you. That's that's my gift to you. Okay, so if I'm sick, it's not going to get done. Uh, we don't get sick here at Shed Flips. Okay. <laughs> you're not. You're, I don't know if you read the handbook or not, but you're not allowed to get sick. Okay. <laughs> Why do you always have to make me out to be the bad guy? You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Pippin's over here, not getting sick either, huh, Pip? Pippin doesn't get sick days. Uh, Pippin, you don't have any listings yet this month, sir. Speaking of listings, um. Our goal for the month is 630. Well, we've only got 609 left to go because we did 21 listings yesterday. So, feeling, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about that yet. We'll I see. Good. Do you? Yeah. You feel optimistic? I do. Why? Because we can do that. I know we can. I just don't know if we will. Why not? I don't know. It just seems like a big number gonna get smaller every day uh, except for today and tomorrow <laughs> I'm gonna do a listing today just to make it smaller uh, huh <laughs> so okay you know what you know that listing I said I want to do uh, yesterday mm -hmm. why don't we do that after we finish packing so now it's we when you have to do something it's we <laughs> tell him Pippin <laughs> all right <laughs> okay Man, she's very antagonistic today, so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go to my side of the shed and go do my little thing and let her do whatever it is she's doing over there. Ooh Handling knives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. No, but what I, what I was thinking about, I don't know if we're gonna do that or not. Never mind. I'm not gonna talk about that. I am doing a listing today. Okay, I'll I'm do. I'm gonna do Sailor Moon cards. Ooh, that's a good listing to do, yeah. actually. That'll be a really good auction to put up tonight. Yep. Okay, good good call. I think I'll grab something I can do an uh, auction listing with, too. So. Uh, anyways, it is Saturday, and we're not going to work all day or anything. We're probably going to pack for what you think, Candace, about two hours, maybe? Yeah, then we have to talk about um, goals for 2021. Yeah, we got to film. We're going to probably pack for two hours film a vid for an hour and then that'll be it for today and um oh and the listing so but yeah let me uh let me get get on some ebay orders oh thank you to everyone that bought a knife by the way yeah we the orders are still coming in strong we really appreciate it but i think there are 53 going out today or not today but 53 orders yes so. that will go out by monday Today or Monday, they'll go out. Yeah. I think that's what they're buying. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Golly, she is really <laughs> antagonistic today. Okay. I'm going to leave you alone. You want some well, music or something? You're messing me up. I'm getting a sticker and I already have one on here. Okay. Well, I would love some music. Okay. What you want? What do you think? That playlist? Yeah. Is that what you want? Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll put that on. All right. These, uh, in a private deal... These these two Joe Montana price guides are going out to Mary. So Mary, thank you very much. Those will get out today. I'm gonna ship those first. All righty, let's pull some eBay stuff now. Um, Pilot wings from Video Shelf N64 game. Here we go. I don't have a ton of video games listed right now. I have some I can list though. That might get me some easy listings. I'm not going to do all easy listings, but if I need some, I'll take some of those. Anyway, this sold for $15.99 plus shipping on top. Then I uh, sold a the upside down variant of Starfire from Inox Shelf. One of these little vinyls, vinyl things, vinyl figs. This will be easy to find. Ah. They're, none of them are upside down, but this one is because look at the label. Here we go. <laughs> Whew, thank goodness. See, they had a packed. Oh, it was like an error. Um, when you said the upside down, I thought it was like a playoff of Stranger Things. 
Now I'm wondering if somebody just took it out of the box and put it back in upside down. Right. <laughs> well, it's sealed. Okay, it is sealed. All sealed right. Sealed on both ends? Yeah, it is. Look, the factory seals are on. Okay, so good. Why did I just now think of that? I've had this for like six months or more. Anyway, that's sold for um, $22.9. I've charged $3 extra because it was upside down. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, Monarch of the Glen Series 7 from Video Shelf. I think it might have been made like that, honestly. I'll have to look, see if anybody else is selling them. Uh, this sold for $7.99 plus shipping on top. Then, Candace, you sold a um, saber tooth from Pippin Shelf. Cool. Gotta make sure. I just listed that yesterday. Did you? I think so. Maybe the day before. I think it was the day before. Sabretooth, six inch action figure. Okay. All those little guys are starting to become a Yep. <laughs> they, they seem so, each one seems so important at the time. And then after a while, you just, they just kind of fade into each other. Here he is, right here. Is this what he looked like on the screen? Yep, that's him. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. Got a bunch of makeup orders here too. Oh, uh, same shelf. Tail Attack Legends Lizard Spider-Man. With Tail Attack. Okay. On the same shelf. Wow, you got a bunch of things over here. I've been working hard. I don't know. Let's see, here we go. I think this is him. This guy, I think this button right here whips his tail around or something like that. Yeah. He's he sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Does it feel good to see the listings that you put up actually going out? Yep. I always, I always found that kind of uh, satisfying. Because that's the reason we do this. That's the reason we list, is to sell. This is a game bought by Ray from the video shelf, Bound by Flame. Here we go, for PS4. I think I listed it disc only, but it comes with like the generic GameStop disc or whatever, uh, uh, case or whatever. And see, so there's a note on this one. Ray said, uh, long time viewer, nice to see Candace in the shed. I was wondering if you could say hey to my buddy Max. Thank you for the great content. Happy New Year, Ray. Happy New Year to you, Ray and Hello, hey, Max. Hey, buddy, Max. That's my buddy, Max. <laughs> but yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And uh, thanks for the order, too, of course. Um, <laughs> what? Okay. Jake. From State Farm? No, it's from Saguaro Picker. He bought... It's on the eBay shelf, supposedly. He bought Cookie Monster. Huh? A puppet or the hat? It's, oh, it's not a puppet. It's a plush. It's a 14-inch plush here. But he he said he wanted me to say something. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to say this or not. He wanted you to say Candace is the best. Candace is the best. Yeah, for sure. I'll say that, but that's not what he wanted me to say. Okay. He wanted... When you pack, will you say, mmm, cookie? <laughs> oh, is he? he I, that must be an office reference or something. That's on you. Okay. So, anyway, okay. thank you very much, Jake. Hope you like your old uh, Cookie Monster plush. Why I appreciate you say it. That, hey, Candace, we're, we're both cooking away. Candace has packed a bunch of knives. We can get almost all of them done today. What? You need that label printed again? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Kevin, for some reason, I keep forgetting to put your sticker and note in there. <laughs> That's fine. I'll print it again. <laughs> These, hey, don't don't sweat it. These labels are only like a penny and a half a piece or something. <sighs> so, yeah, let me get this label reprinted for Kevin. Kevin in Colorado, by the way. 
and I'm going to pull a few more. Um, I'll look at Saturday as kind of a bonus shipping day. So we get, we just try and knock the pile down a little bit, you know. Um, let's see. We have Garbage Pail Kid cards, number 16 and 17, going out to William and Misty. So thank y'all very much. Do appreciate it. And yes, I'm going to combine the shipping on those. Uh, let's see, 16, and hopefully this is 17, because that is, Candace, I'm done with uh, Garbage Pail Kid. This is it. <laughs> That's the end of them. So thank y'all very much for the order. Hope y'all like the cards. Uh, let's see, what else we pull in here? Uh, Amira. Oh, that's weird, Candace. I didn't put a... Um... A, a shelf location for those. What is it? The little shoes. Oh, I mean, I know where they're at. They're all in a box. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to say they're on this side. No, know, they're right here. You know where they're at? Yeah, I got them. Sold a Mira uh, pump thing. Here we go. For the amount of money shown on the screen, it it might be a weird thing with that listing too, because sometimes is variation listings if that's what it is which i think it is it doesn't show it on the i don't know i don't know sometimes it doesn't show it on this screen um then paul let's see wait let me read this hope you have a successful new year my mom and i are going on four years reselling vintage and decorative items in an antique booth here in texas our little booth is our little business is called rustic relics good luck with all the changes and happy hunting, Bo. So thank you very much, Bo, for these orders. He bought a couple of things, I think. Uh, he bought both out of the smalls drawer. He bought this little car. And he bought this little lighter in here. This is a uh, I.W. Harper whiskey lighter. And it act, the flint actually, like, it strikes and makes a little spark and everything. So, should be able to just add fuel to that if you actually want to use it. But, thank you very much, Bo. Appreciate it. And, yeah, I might pull a few more here. Nick bought uh, a G.I. Joe. This is one I listed yesterday. This is, is his name Blowtorch? Yeah, from 1984, Blowtorch figure only. He didn't have any accessories. That's a big deal when it comes to these uh, G.I. Joes. The accessories make all the difference in the world. Sold this for $7.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Nick, for all the business. Appreciate. I'm going to go pull another action figure now. Uh, this is... Okay, this is Wolverine on the Pippin shelf. And he is the one... I thought he was broken when I first saw him, but he's missing a the apocalypse version. He's missing his hand. He has like a cap over it or something like that. So uh yeah, Candace listed that yesterday, I think. Sold for $7.99 plus shipping on top. And uh let's see, let's do one more. Jason. Uh I've been a fan of your channel for a while now. I'm glad to see Candace working with you by your side. Hope you guys had a happy new year. Can't wait to see what 2021 brings for both of you. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Jason. That was very nice. And I am pulling for Jason a Poison Ivy from Inox Shelf. Okay, it's the one with the hand like that. Okay. This things looks very similar, so I have to be careful. Uh, I think these are all poison ivies though because they all have the vines down there and all the hands are the same There we go So this sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top And I think I'm gonna pack these and I'm gonna cut the shipping off right here And we'll check in on Candace What you working on Candace? Pulled out these Sailor Moon cards to go ahead and list them. It's got the album and Nice. It's full of cards Plus these two big cards. And let's see. That ought to do pretty I, I that ought to do pretty that. well, I would think. It's, it's got, got all the original little 
directions in Japanese. Yeah. Okay. How many cards are in there? Did you count yet? Not yet. Okay. I think that'll be a good listing. I'm going to finish the packing. Okay. This Saturday vid. Ooh, watch it, lady. This Saturday vid. She almost poked mine out. It's going to uh, be a little shorter than most because we're not going to be out here for long. But are those the rejects? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I did pull up a few questions from the last two videos. And the first one I think you're going to have to field, Candace. Uh, this I need, is. I need to feel it. Field. Mac L. Any chance now that you have a partner? I've always had a partner. She just wasn't working with me. <laughs> You might sell some shed flips, merch, mugs, stickers, t-shirts, etc. So this is the department of that. <laughs> We've got a few things cooking. Stay tuned. Candace does. Yep. We got a new logo. Um. So yeah, we have we're putting some feelers out there. Some fielders. Fielders. <laughs> feelers. Um. We're, yeah, we're looking at doing some more of that type of thing. Not quite sure yet. It's going to take a little time. We're, but Candace has been, trust me, Candace spent a few hours yesterday. Actually, she probably spent between logo. I don't. How many hours do you think you spent on logo and merch so far? Pretty good many. Probably about six. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's working on it. That's the kind of stuff I hate to do. Yeah. I mean, for those of you who have seen our new logo, um, we have some stickers coming and some little thank you cards. Um, and then we're going to look, explore other things to maybe sell. We'll see. Yeah. We've talked about it. We have. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Dan Skrull. Um, You always mention adding the item location in the customs queue. How do you do that? Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll take, I'll field this one. And it might be different based on what kind of account you have. But, okay, like, I just did a sell similar on something. Um, this, where the title goes, custom label is two blocks down, right here. It's so like, this one is Inox. That's where we put the custom label thing. And then that shows up whenever we go to, uh, to print the orders, um, to print the postage for the orders. I'll see Inox, and I'll know where to go for it. Uh, be sure you don't accidentally... Like, this is so dumb how they put two very similar looking blanks right by each other. This blank is free. This blank costs $1.50 for a subtitle. And it's right by it. <laughs> so, you got to pay attention. Candace, did you know that? Notice that? No. Look, come look at this real quick. Because, like, you're doing a bunch of listings. Okay. She's over here doing something. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to fix your... Your line here. We'll just go buy, look, we're, we'll go buy some more foam board oh, later. Let's go right now. No. We are going to Walmart later. <laughs> the groceries so. are ready to be picked up. Okay. Anyways. What are we doing? I'm just saying, look, your custom label goes here, right? Correct. If you accidentally put it here, eBay's going to charge $1.50. Mm -hmm. Because it's a subtitle at that point. Yeah. So, something to look out for. And like I said, you might have to have a store. I'm not sure. Um... To be able to do the custom SKU. I, I'm not sure because I don't have another account without a store. Um, Broke Life Thrift said, I was wondering if you both are able to list at the same time or do you take turns throughout the day? Hope you're both able to put your feet up for a couple hours today. Uh, yeah, we were. We put yeah. our feet up. Oh, I thought, yeah, eBay does let us both list at the same time. No, that's not. That's the question. I was wondering if you both are able to list the same time or do you take turns? That I don't I don't think they meant like through eBay because we're both logged in to the same well, eBay account. If that is a question, yes. Okay. And what what else could the question be? Well, because you look at things differently than me, so you're reading it differently. So what are you reading? I was reading it like well maybe you know what? You're probably right now that I think about it. You're probably right about your understanding of the question. I was thinking are we logistically is it make sense for us to list at the same time like because we're both trying to take photos using one photo station and stuff like that so very very infrequently have we had to wait on the other one because the photos we take them pretty quick yeah it's like 
Especially with that camera. It's like pop, 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 yeah. pop, pop, and that's it. And we each have our own memory card that we pop in and out of it. So mm -hmm. we're not waiting on a memory card. Um, yeah, so it, either way, not an issue. Whichever no. way your question was meant. Yeah. So, but yeah, the memory card thing worked out is working out surprisingly well. Because, like, the rule is you take your photos and then you drop your memory card and bring it back to your workstation and you leave the camera by the photo station. And it's working. Yes. So working quite well we've done it a couple of times now mm -hmm. um i think it's kind of nice when we're both listing at the same time too because we're in the same mode yeah um and and we're there to like at, at, you know run stuff by each other hey what do you think about this what do you think about that about the listings um king cootie in regards to shipping toys that are the original packaging is it frowned upon to ship them in a bubble mailer I have these huge 1320 bubble mailers that I thought about using to ship toys, puzzles, etc. that are originally in boxes. Maybe only if the toys are under a certain amount. Okay, so King Cootie, uh, any kind of, do you say action figures? Um, toys that are in original packaging. For the most part, um, I like to ship that kind of stuff in boxes. Honestly, the only thing I like to ship in bubble mailers is uh, clothing. I'll ship clothing in a bubble. I'll ship uh, video games in bubble mailers, unless they're like real pricey. Um, some small makeup items. I'll, I'll cut a little bubble wrap just to fit that makeup item. And then I'll put that into a bubble mailer. But it has double bubble <laughs> at that point. Um so yeah, I don't like anything that's in brand new packaging. I kind of want it in a box, but that's up to you. That's just my preference. Um, I think bubble mailer, bubble mailers are fine for some things, but they're easily crushable. So I would be careful with that. So did you get your pictures? Did I get huh? my pictures? Wait, what's going on? We want to know. The stickers will be here on the 13th. 13th? Approximately. Damn, that's a long time. They, they haven't even printed them yet. Oh my, how do, you, how do you have a, maybe the shipping will be faster than what they're saying. Yeah, they're probably doing worst case scenario. Same thing with the thank you cards. <sighs> I hope it's not the 13th. Because we only have. Yeah, we, the, so if you see the box knives all of a sudden not be up for sale anymore, that's why just going to be for a few days hopefully but we only have like a hundred and probably 150 stickers left i think yeah i think it's more than that uh okay something like that yeah. and she uses one for every box resizer and i use one for every viewer sale yeah. so we we don't have long before we're out right so we might have to shut the uh we might have to shut the box resizers down when we do, it'll just be for a couple of days until we wait for the stickers. So we got other stuff to do, though. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna sign off now. Uh, yeah. Hope y'all are having a good holiday weekend and ready to hit the ground running on Monday. I know Candace is. Yep. Yeah, I hope you had a happy New Year, all of you. Happy New Year's Eve, I guess. You don't know about the New Year yet. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yesterday was pretty good. Yeah. Today's good so far. Yep. So, yeah. thanks for watching. We'll see you all again soon. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye.